Hello children. Welcome to class 6. This is social science class. Civics part 1 of unit 1 understanding diversity. Children this year onwards you have particular subject called civics in social science. Civics is a study of citizenship. It is a study of the rights and duties of a citizen. Today we will be discussing a lesson understanding diversity. In this lesson you will be learning about meanings of diversity, diversity in India. Under the diversity in India we will be learning about landforms and lifestyle diversity. Now what is the meaning of diversity? Difference among people on the basis of religion, language, eating habits etc is called diversity. What is called diversity? Difference among people on the basis of religion, language, eating habits etc is called diversity. A person may follow a particular religion while other person may follow another religion. Different people speak different languages. Even if they speak the same language, the different people among them may be speaking the same language in different essence. People show diversity in their eating habits as well. Some people eat non-vegetarian food while some others eat vegetarian food. For example, majority of people from Gujarat are vegetarians. Majority of people from Gujarat are vegetarians. On the other hand, majority of people from West Bengal are non-vegetarians. So these differences are called diversity. What is diversity? That is differences. We have gender diversity and we have differences in disability. We have differences in religion. We follow different religion like Hindus, Muslim, Christianity, next other religions are there. Next we have age difference. Sexuality also we have differences male, female. Culture also differ. Then experience wise people may differ. Personality wise we will differ. Perceptions wise we will differ. Behavior wise we will differ. Education wise also people may differ. Hobbies, interest also differ. Views also differ. Standard wise also we will differ. So these differences are called diversity. Children look at this picture. What picture is this? Classroom picture. Right? This is a classroom picture. In this picture you find four children. How many children are there? Four children. What do you observe from this picture? Do you think all of them are looking similar? No. Right? Student 1 is from Kerala. Student 1 is from which state? Kerala. He is fond of eating puttu. Then he speaks Malayalam. What is the language of Kerala? Malayalam. Next. Student 2 is a Muslim student. He speaks Urdu. What is the language of Muslims? Urdu. Then he eat biryani. Muslims like to eat biryani. Next. Student 3. Student 3 is from Bengal, West Bengal. What is the sweet they eat? Bengali sweet. Student number 4 is from Andhra Pradesh. He speak Telugu. What is the language speak in Andhra Pradesh? Telugu. They like to eat idli dosa. All these four children are eating different food and celebrating different festivals. In the world, there are no two individuals are similar. They are different or unique. The way they think, the way they stand, the way they look, the way they dress up, everything is different. 
this is called diversity this is called diversity this shows that people speak different languages eat different kinds of food celebrate their own festivals and practice a culture different from one another similarly people who live in different parts of our country differ in their way of life these differences make us unique as indians we come from different backwards belonging to different cultures worship in different ways yet we live together this is known as unity in diversity now we are going to learn about diversity in india india is a home to civilization that is 5000 years old civilization are here different groups of people from different groups of people from world were attracted towards india over the years because of its wealth some came for trade with the local people and others were keen on invading its territory so diverse races of people migrated to india by land and sea routes over time this is the land and sea route map listen children they migrated from different parts of the country people migrate from different parts of the country for trade purpose thus the dravidians negroids aryans alpines and mongoloids became part of the modern indian race then the people who migrate to india also moved to other parts of the country this movement and migration of people is the reason for india's rich diversity so different groups of people from different parts of the world are unitedly living in india we are differ in many things but we are living together yet we live together this is called unity in diversity in india we will now study the diversity in india under land forms and lifestyle diversity a continent is a vast area of land with various physical features such as mountains plateaus plains rivers and seas and various types of weather patterns what are the physical features of india india has mountains plains valleys rivers plateaus and seas india has all of them so india is known as a subcontinent india is a subcontinent of asia these features have an underlying influence upon the people who live in different land forms of the country physical and climate features determine the economic activities of a region people living in plains thrive on agriculture they depend on agriculture most of the people in plains are farmers they depend on agriculture next people in coastal areas take fishing as their occupation next people in mountain regions take re- rearing of animals as their occupation people in hilly regions are take a, take their occupation as plantation crops that is coffee and tea why these changes are there because of land forms according to the land forms they take their occupations due to the climatic conditions of the land forms their occupations also differ so diversity in land forms also impact the flora and fauna of region that is natural vegetation and animals the plant and animal wealth of a place depends upon the natural habitat and the climate that prevails in that region so physical features 
decide the food clothing occupation and livelihood of the people it is closely connected with the regions natural surroundings and climate even though india has different land forms like valley mountains plains island desert coastal areas it has different land forms but we are all united even though india has different land forms like this but we are all living together we are all living together so we are all united this is known as lifestyle and land forms diversity next listen children one do you know is given here do you know about the highest rainfall area which is the highest rainfall area mousin ram what is this mousin ram mousin ram is located in meghalaya it is the land of highest rainfall which is the land of highest rainfall mousin ram next this is jaisalmer which is located in rajasthan this is the land of lowest rainfall which is the land of lowest rainfall jaisalmer this two do you know is very important now we have recap first point india is the land of unity in diversity second point diversity is a state of being different from each other we have many different among us third one land forms and climate have an impact on diversity fourth point physical features and climatic conditions determine the economic activities of a region that is uh, mountains plains plateaus rivers valleys desert these feature this physical features determine the economic activities of a region i told no first mountains people depend on the mountains people take occupation as plantation crops next uh, coastal areas fishing crop land areas agriculture that is plain land next one is diversity in land forms also impact on the flo- flora and fauna of a region that is natural vegetation and animals thank you children